Hi guys! With our Yeet WooCommerce gift cards plugin, you can create an image gallery with lots of different themes like birthday, Mother's Day, and Christmas so that your customers can choose an image to customize the gift card that they're buying for their loved ones. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and enable the image gallery. But before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. One of the best options our plugin has to offer, and the one that sets it apart from every other gift card plugin out there, is the option to have an image gallery with different themed images so customers can customize the gift cards they buy. This is the current product image that we have for virtual gift cards, but customers are able to choose from different options in our image gallery, like this one, this one, I can click here on view all, and I'm going to find more options to choose from. I have categories here, birthday, Christmas, family. So basically we can create endless number of themes or categories, if you will, and upload images to these categories so customers can quickly find the image that best fits the event for which they are buying the gift card. So let's see how to create these themes or categories first. Let's go to the dashboard to Yid, gift cards, image categories. Here we can create the categories that we want to show in the model window where customers will be able to select the image to customize the gift card. We have categories here already, but I'm going to create a new category right now, which is going to be called wedding. Here we have the slug, the parent category. You can choose any of the existing categories to make it the parent category. I'm not going to choose any of this. In description, in case you want to add one. There are two different ways to upload images for these categories. The first one is right here in the image categories tab. You can add the images while creating the category by clicking on the add images button and select files. For example, this one. You can of course load more than that, add to gallery and that's it. I can just click on that new category and there we go, wedding and we have one image here. So this is by far the easiest way to add images to your categories, but this is something you would do while creating the category. Now, if we click on edit, I can remove this image and I can add more. I can also modify the description, the slug, the parent category, and so on. I'm going to update here. I'm going to go back to categories and now I have zero images in the wedding category. And as I have just said, this is really the easiest way to add images to your category, but I'm also going to show you the other way to do this. We can also go over to media, add new and select the files. I'm going to select these four images for my new wedding category. Now you can edit this by clicking here. By clicking on edit, we're going to be able to assign this image to a gift card category. In this case, it's going to be assigned to the wedding category. This is the title of the image, celebration image. You can keep that or change it. I'm going to show you something about this in a couple of minutes. You will also find different options if you scroll down, but we're just going to update this image. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other images that I have just uploaded, okay? So now that I have assigned these four images to the wedding gift card category, let's go back to Yid, gift cards, image categories. And now we have the wedding category with four images. So now that the image gallery is all set up, we have our new category, we have our new images assigned to the category. We need to make sure that we have the image gallery enabled. If you don't, you're going to be able to enable the image gallery from style. Then you can scroll down to the gift card design options. And here you have the option to enable the gallery. So mine is enabled. If you don't have this enabled, just do it. Now let's go over to products, edit. This is the virtual gift card that we were seeing at the beginning of this video, where we had 
birthday, Christmas, family, love and relax categories available to choose images from. Now I'm going to uncheck all of these categories and I'm just going to check the wedding gift card category. I'm going to update. Let's go see that product. Okay. I disabled the rest of the categories. I only have the wedding category available for this specific virtual gift card. So I have the images that I have just uploaded. And if I click on view all, I'm just going to see the wedding category. Okay. Here I have the four images I uploaded. You also see each image has its own title below. I made sure to have short titles related to the images to show to the customers. Now, if I go back to the dashboard, I'm going to scroll down and I can enable some of the categories again. There, I'm going to update back to the site. I'm going to refresh. And if I click on view all, we're going to see all of the categories I checked before available. So again, I can change the gift card image by choosing any of the images right here. I'm going to select this one there it is now right here we can only see one two and three images total and then i have the view all button so i only see three images i can also choose how many images to show on the product page let's go over to give gift cards style gift card sign options scroll down and here we have this option how many images to show so i have three right here you can change it to two one five whatever you want we can also rename the view all button we can show the image title this is something that i have enabled you saw how each image has a title so you can enable this option so each gift card image title is visible to the customer and here we have a custom image upload option this option allows customers to upload their own images. They can be images, photos, whatever they want, so they can completely customize the gift card that they're buying. I'm going to enable this option. You will also find these new options if you enable this, which are the recommended size for the images in pixels and maximum size. I'm going to save these options, back to the side, refresh, and now you see the image gallery here with the three images that I want to see, my view all button that you can of course customize to say whatever you want. I have the option to upload a custom image here so I can click here to upload my image and here you can see that I have a tooltip that specifies the suggested size. I'm going to select my custom image, open there. So as a customer, all that's left is choosing the amount filling in the information right here, adding to cart and buying this virtual gift card that is fully customized and has my own custom image. Okay guys, that's how you can create and enable the image gallery. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.